Hiroshima is a city located in Honshu, Japan. It is the largest city within the Chugoku region and is also the capital city of Hiroshima Prefecture. This is a city with a large history and culture as well as a beautiful environment. And is most well known for being the first city to be targeted by a nuclear weapon during World War II. After the explosion, the city started its reconstruction, and today, over 1.19 million people are living here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and hello from Hiroshima. As you can see, I am in front of the atomic bomb dome. In this video, I will show you guys my list of 10 things to do and places to visit in Hiroshima as a first-time traveler. Number 1. Atomic Bomb Dome This is probably the most popular tourist attraction in Hiroshima city. In 1985, 6th of August, 8.15 a.m., the first atomic bomb in human history was dropped in Hiroshima. Although this atomic bomb dome was located almost directly underneath the explosion, it somehow avoided complete destruction and the remains of the building still stand today. The residents of Hiroshima decided to keep this place as a reminder of the tragic history. This site was designated as a World Heritage Site in 1996. Number 2. Itsukushima Shrine in Miyajima Island Miyajima Island is a sacred island located in the southwest of Hiroshima City. It can be reached in less than one hour by train and ferry. The main attraction in Miyajima Island is the Itsukushima Shrine. This shrine is one of the most popular shrines in Japan and is the only shrine in the world built above water. This is another World Heritage Site in Hiroshima. The scenery of its Kushima Shrine has always been recognized as one of the top three scenic spots in Japan. Unfortunately, I was not able to see the shrine this time because it is currently under reconstruction. According to the official website, it will take another one or two years to finish. Number 3. Peace Memorial Park Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park is on the opposite side of the atomic bomb dome across the river. Peace Memorial Park is a vast park in the center of Hiroshima, which is over 12,000 square meters. It is nice to take a walk in the park when the weather is good. Every year on the anniversary of the bomb, a ceremony is held at the park. Many people come to the park and pray for eternal peace. Also, we can see monuments everywhere inside the park. Number 4. Hiroshima National Peace Memorial Hall The full name should be Hiroshima National Peace Memorial Hall for the Atomic Bomb Victims. This memorial hall is located inside the Peace Memorial Park. The entry is free of charge. This place is an effort by the Japanese government to remember and mourn the atomic bomb victims and to convey the A-bomb experience to later generations.
the Hall of Remembrance, which displays a view of the city after the bomb, as seen from the hypocenter. On the first floor, there is a photo wall showing all the victims who passed away during the atomic explosion, and you can even register the victims' names here. Number 5. Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum This museum is also located in the Peace Memorial Park. The museum was established in August 1955 with the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Hall. It is the most popular of Hiroshima's destinations for school field trips from all over Japan and for international visitors. The Peace Memorial Museum collects and displays belongings left by the victims, photos, and other materials that convey the horror of that event. What I really liked about this museum is that there is a notebook that is located right before the exit. This notebook is filled with visitors' warm comments, how they learn about the past, how they feel about the museum, and their wishes for no more Hiroshima's and no more war. Number 6. Taking an Electric Tram Hiroshima Electric Railway is a Japanese transportation company established in 1910 that operates streetcars and buses in and around Hiroshima Prefecture. It is known as Hiroden for short. I noticed that many people were taking photos because this tram is a new one operating from March this year and it is themed with the Hiroshima Toyo Kark team, which is a professional baseball team based in Hiroshima. Number 7. Hiroshima Castle While visiting a city in Japan, it won't be complete without visiting a traditional Japanese castle. Hiroshima Castle was built in 1589 by Terumoto Mori. This castle is also called the Carp Castle. Although the castle was destroyed by the atomic bomb in 1945, it was rebuilt after 13 years. The building has five floors. From the fifth floor, you have a nice view of Hiroshima City. Number 8. Okonomi Mura. Now it's time for some food. Speaking of food in Hiroshima, Okonomiyaki is a must try food and it is Hiroshima people's soul food. A central place to have this regional dish is this dedicated building, Okonomi Mura, which is close to the Peace Memorial Park. This building is packed with around 20 restaurants, with each chef serving their variation of Okonomiyaki. In my previous video, I have introduced Osaka style okonomiyaki. Hiroshima style okonomiyaki is a bit different. First, roll the flour dough into a thin circle on a large iron plate and bake it. And then put plenty of vegetables such as cabbages, bean sprouts, and green onions on it. Soba is layered on top of it, grilled, coated with sauce for okonomiyaki. If you enter any of the restaurant and sit in front of the iron plate, you can also see the actual cooking.
Number 9. Takehara Townscape Conservation Area Takehara has a 350-year history as a merchant town famous for salt production and Japanese sake brewing. It is known as the Little Kyoto due to its collection of historic buildings. In 2019, Takehara was designated as a Japan heritage site. You can really feel the traditional vibes here. Today, restaurants, cafes, and craft shops selling traditional local crafts are located in some of Takehara's historic buildings. Be aware that some of the shops are closed during weekdays. Number 10. Okonoshima Island Okonoshima is an island in the Seto Inland Sea off of the coast of Tadanomi Port. It is the only place in the world where visitors can wander freely among wild rabbits. Originally, there were only a few rabbits on the island. But over the years, the number of rabbits has increased to over 800. In recent years, Okunoshima has become one of the most popular tourist destinations in Hiroshima Prefecture, attracting visitors from around the world. The best way to get to Okunoshima is to take a highway bus from Hiroshima's main train station going directly to the Tadanoumi station and walk to Tadanoumi port. There is a shop at the port where you can purchase some rabbit food. I got my ticket and the food to feed the rabbits. After taking 15 minute ferry ride, then you will be greeted by the cute bunnies. They are very friendly and not afraid of humans at all. However, Okonoshima wasn't always a paradise for bunnies. It is also called an island that disappeared from the map. This island was the center of chemical weapons research and production during World War II. The island was completely erased from the map. To have a better understanding of the island's history, I recommend you to go to this poison gas museum. The Okunoshima Poison Gas Museum, established in 1988, has exhibits on the chemical weapons plants that were built on the island in 1929 and were in use until the end of World War II. 
The poison gas was used in many places in China. Taking photos is not allowed inside the museum. In my opinion, this island is a very interesting and unique island because we can see the adorable rabbits and interact with them. But at the same time, this island has a dark and sad history in the past. So I think people who come to this island should also know about this part of the history. Alright guys, that's all for my travel guide in Hiroshima. I hope this video is helpful. After I come back from Hiroshima, I just really appreciate that I'm living in this peaceful environment and I realized that we should never take peace for granted. At the end of this video, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this long video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!